What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance crew, and you're watching DaVinci Reacts. Um, today, I'm going to be getting into a video that, I don't know, it depends on which way it goes, because I was somebody that didn't really have a favorable uh, reaction to Star Wars The Last Jedi. I thought there was a lot of questionable decisions that was made in that movie that, it to me, it felt like they made it difficult on purpose. Um, there were a lot of things that were in that movie that I did not agree with at all. Um, I mean, as far as a movie is concerned, it was cool. I had, didn't really have a problem with the movie itself. It was just behind the scenes, the decisions that were made, like killing off Luke, um, the long side quest that took up way too much screen time at the casino, uh, Ray's character pretty much being a damn character with a game shark code that just gave her all the fucking powers from the beginning it was a lot of things like that that kind of annoyed me but let's go ahead and jump into this <clears throat> maybe they learned their lesson this has a different director hopefully uh ryan johnson will never step foot in a star wars studio ever again but um who knows maybe they took it in a better direction but let's go ahead and check this out and see what it has to offer i'll leave my opinions for after trust the objective Reminds me of the first shot of uh, Finn when you uh, the, when the first Force Awakens trailer came out. We've passed on all we know. A thousand generations live in you now. But this is your fight. Every generation has a legend. I think you're gonna win, right? Nice little backflip. I hope they're not going to Naboo. <laughs> he got his mask back. Lando. Remnants of the Death Star. <laughs> They're fighting the Joker. Confirmed. The rise of Skywalker. <laughs> yeah. I, hey. Um. What can I say? No matter how mad I am at the last movie. The Star Wars always knows how to pull me back. It's like an addiction. They, they, I just can't quit them. Um, like I guess I'm hoping that they uh, are able to correct some of the mistakes they made in the last movie. Um, I would like to see Ray more of a vulnerable character, like somebody that kind of like how Luke was when Luke first started. He didn't know how to use his powers. He was kind of, you know weak and inept had to learn how to like train himself the only skill he really had was piloting whereas with ray it's like she just came in whooping ass like she her first time touching the lightsaber she was able to beat a sith lord like come on now it, it, it just didn't make any sense to me um but like i said hopefully they can correct some of the things at this point it wouldn't make any sense to take her back as far as progression so as far as I'm concerned, that's a lost cause. I just have to learn to accept that. Um, I didn't really, I mean, I had a problem with Luke died at first. Matter of fact, I have a review of The Last Jedi on my channel, I believe. I'll go ahead and leave a link to it or a card in this video that you can click on and go to it. But um, when it first happened, I had a problem with Luke when he died. Uh, after thinking about it, I 
I'm okay with the decision now because in the world of Star Wars, death it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the end. And in The Last Jedi, they've already established that Force ghosts can still interact with the world. Like um, how Yoda was able to light the Jedi Temple on fire with the lightning bolt. So Luke can still be a part of the movie and contribute. And if anything, him being a ghost could make him even more powerful than you possibly can imagine. But, um, yeah, I, I don't really have a problem with that. Like I said, he could probably come back. Um, some decisions they made will probably never be fixed, like the whole light speed argument and how it works. Because they kind of like retconned that in the last movie. So they can't really go back on that. Um, I didn't have a problem with uh, Poe's character or Finn for that matter. Uh, I, I had no issue with it. I think it was stupid at the end when she kissed uh, Finn and, you know, supposedly started that goddamn uh, storyline. Like, okay, well, this is this is new. There wasn't any type of flags in the past that would indicate there was something going on between these two. But whatever. <laughs> That's a thing now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I didn't have a problem with her character. Um, I thought that the whole... Um, and this would be the last thing I comment on about Last Jedi before I go back into this, but I thought the whole idea that um, the mutiny, I thought that was the stupidest thing I've ever freaking saw in a damn movie. All they had to do was just explain what the plan was, and there wouldn't have been a mutiny. Why did they do that? It was it made no sense whatsoever. The stupidest decision a commanding officer could make in that uh, situation, but whatever. Um Yeah, I like the fact that they brought back uh, Kylo Ren's mask. I have no idea why they destroyed it in the last movie. That was stupid. That's like Darth Vader destroying his mask, and then we just see a, see his face for the rest of the series. It makes no sense. That mask is something that is used to identify him, and it makes him different. That's what makes the Sith, that's what makes the Sith Lords different. So I don't understand why they did that. Um... Now that I'm thinking about it, something is kind of uh, weird. Any Has anybody else like bothered to wonder why Kylo Ren doesn't have the trademarks of a Sith Lord? Like, you know, the pale skin and the like reddish, yellowish eyes and stuff like that. Like, he doesn't have them. Despite the fact that he's been evil for I don't know how long, he doesn't have them. I mean, when Anakin first turned evil, it was only like an afternoon before he got the eyes. I mean, maybe they'll try to establish, well, he's not really evil, but, you know, he's still conflicted. Well, Anakin was conflicted at first, too. He still got the damn eyes. Give him his eyes. <laughs> uh, yeah, the... It seems like they're still kind of uh, harboring back to the original trilogy a bit too much. Based on just this trailer, there was a lot of scenes that involved something from the the original trilogy that I think that they, at this point, they should have been able to establish themselves away from. I mean, you could do cameos and, like, callbacks and stuff, but hopefully they're not big plot points. All they did was show them. I'm not going to say that it, one way or the other, they're trying to, you know, cater towards the original trilogy. They just showed Remnants of the Death Star. I don't know if that's going to be a key plot point or anything like that. Um, hopefully Kylo Ren will... Well, I don't know what he's going to end up doing. It's possible he could go full on evil, which is what I'm hoping he would do. And then there'll just be like one final showdown between Ray and a full powered Kylo Ren. Because, I mean, they've been doing him uh, no justice either throughout this trilogy because he's been getting his ass handed to him in almost every single situation. The only person he's really been able to beat is, you know, he was able to partially beat Finn and a bunch of no name stormtrooper slash uh imperial soldiers which doesn't mean anything uh he gets his butt kicked in every other situation which takes away from it takes away from the credibility of this guy being a legitimate badass it's, it's almost like vince mcmahon is booking uh, kylo ren because he keeps losing and losing and losing, but just because he has the label of being Sith Lord, we're supposed to assume he's this danger. No, if you keep showing us lose, he's going to come off as a loser. 
<laughs> if you want him to come off as somebody that should be taken as a threat, maybe you should let him beat people every once in a while. I don't know. That's just me talking. But uh, anyway, uh, I look forward to this movie. Um, mainly just to see if they correct the issues from the last movie. That's the biggest thing I'm going into it with. Uh, I really hope they fix those issues. Um, and then we could probably get this uh, train back on the tracks. I, but then again, this is the last movie. So the fact that they have to go back and reestablish stuff that was messed up in the previous movie. And this is the last one is not a good position to be in. <laughs> you should be at this point, you should be wrapping things up, not trying to fix stuff in the past because then you might not have enough time to, you know, take some of the loose ends and draw them to conclusions. But whatever, I, I hope <laughs> that's all I can say. I hope. <laughs> and for everybody out there, just remember, revenge means nothing without someone you love to share it with. Lando is back, baby. Anyway, <laughs> if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. I have a couple of them I'm going to try to do today. Uh, but until then, I'm Devon Da Vinci, and you've just been a little bit more enlightened. I'm going to give you the deuces, and I'll see you there. Deuces.